to rest from their
presentation Senator Royce West Brother Taylor was a supporting member of this church and when he comes my time What I have read to you 
represents the wishes of the past and members. Let us then not try to say it all. Leave some for next time. within my heart, and my spirit makes diligent search. Second Corinthians 5, 1 through 3. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groom, earnestly designed to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Oh, gracious God, we come knowing that you are our God, our Creator, our Redeemer. Father, we're so thankful that we know that you're God and have never made a mistake. You're a just God. One that has never done wrong. I've always been there when we needed you the most. Right now, Father, we come in behalf of this family. And we pray that you would increase their strength for this hour. Pray, Master, for the wife, the children, and the entire family. Pray for Dr. Clark, who's yeah, yeah, yeah. going to deliver the message. Yeah. Ask that you would give him strength. Yeah. And Father, we do know that it has been appointed unto man once to die, and then the judgment.
like to say amen. 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 Giving honor to my family, to the pastors on the board here. I like to do something that my dad always taught me. Whatever you do, make it short, make it soft, and make it sweet. but thou dost really make them ours forever in the dew of an immortal youth, transfiguring them with a light that can never be, can never fade from their faces or our lives, blotting out only what we are glad to forget, preserving what we love in imperishable beauty. F.B. Meyer. Whereas our brother Johnny H. Taylor has been a member of this church family since December 29, 1971, and whereas he has been a very good and cooperative supporter of this church, and whereas our Heavenly Father has called him from our midst to his eternal home, we issue this resolution. Be it resolved that the pastor, officers, and members of the Good Street Baptist Church bow and humble in humbleness to the will of our Father God, and be it also resolved that we shall long remember the legacy of our co-laborer, and be it further resolved that we extend to the family, friends, and loved ones of our late brother our deepest and most sincere sympathy. We want you to know that we care about you. We want you and want to do whatever we can to ease the pain of your grief. Sometime we'll understand. Not now, but in the coming years. It may be it may be in the better land. We'll read the meaning of our tears. And there, sometime, we'll understand. We'll catch the broken threads again and finish what we here began. Heaven will the mysteries explain and then, ah, oh, then we'll understand. We'll know why clouds instead of sun were over many a cherished plan, why song has ceased when scarce begun, till there sometime we'll understand. God knows the way, he holds the key, he guides us with unerring hands. Sometimes with tearless eyes, we'll see. Yes, there, up there, we'll understand. Then thrust 
trust in God through all thy days. Fear not, for he doth hold thy hand. Go dark the way, still sing and praise. Sometime, sometime, we'll understand. Maxwell in Canico. <coughs> Likewise do the words of Jesus to Peter apply here from John 13, 7. What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. May God bless and keep you in his loving care. This resolution issued by order of the Good Street Baptist Church, Reverend Caesar Clark, Pastor. Amen. family and my brothers and sisters in Christ. God is too wise to make a mistake. He is too kind to be unkind and he is too merciful to ever leave us without a comforter. Uh, so I say to the family today to look to the hills from which cometh our help. All of our help cometh from the Lord. In the words of a poem I wrote, I would like to say to the family today that no words could ever express exactly how I feel. How much I wish your pain was one that I could heal. How much I sympathize with all you're going through and wish that there was something that I could do for you. But know my love is here today and each tomorrow. My heart's grieving too because I share your sorrow. But we mustn't grieve for that one we love, for life has only set him free. To walk along the lovely road beyond the point where we can't see. And if he should look back, he might be quite concerned, I feel. If on your sweet and loving faces he should see a single tear. Johnny never lost his lovely hue. He kept his ventures to the end. As though it were a thrilling book. And that, Johnny made a better friend. This comes from Bobby Patterson and Proud Records. Route 2, Box 370, South Mississippi, <coughs> Resolution. In memory of the late Mr. Johnny Taylor, life is but a working day, a time to work, a time to rest, and then come death. This comes to all. Inasmuch as Mr. Johnny Taylor is a relative of the Rocket family who are loyal members of the Eubanian Missionary Baptist Church, we feel it proper to send this resolution. <coughs> For that reason, we are to express our deepest sympathy to the entire Taylor family. Resolve that we bow our head in humble submission to Heavenly Father's master's will. Be it further resolved that the family weep not as, as those who, are, who have no hope. Remembering that you must follow on, lovingly submitted the New Banyan Missionary Baptist Church, Pastor Reverend Walter Escher, Secretary of the Lord. Amen. First, give an honor to God. Uh, Pastor Clark, ministers on the roster. I'm here from Houston, Texas, representing KTSU Radio. On behalf of Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas, Johnny Harrison Taylor, to live in the hearts of those we leave behind is not to die. For all of us at Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas, who are deeply moved at the announcement of the passing of one of our musical legends, 
On behalf of KTSU FM Radio and its more than 200,000 listeners, we join his family who have gathered today to pay tribute to his life. His music has been so much to so many people. From diverse backgrounds, he will be well missed, but his music will live on through the airways. May the truth of these words comfort your hearts today. How beautiful to be with God when earth is fading like a dream and from the mist encircled shores we launch upon the unknown stream. No doubt, no fear, no anxious care, but comforted by staff and rod. In the faith brightened eyes of death, how beautiful to be with God. Beyond the pouring of the pains, beyond the sighing of the tears, oh beautiful to be with God through all endless blessed years, to see his face and hear his voice, to know him day by day and love him as the flowers, love light and serve him as he not only, amen. Respectfully submitted, George Thomas, General Manager, KTSU, FM. To the Polkateers, to Dr. Clark, on behalf of Benny Deer and the musicians, Pat Wick and the musicians of Mr. Taylor. Be the best of whatever you are by Douglas Mallow. If you cannot be a pine on the top of the hill, be a shrub in the valley, but be. Be the best little shrub by the side of the hill. Be a bush if you cannot be a tree. If you cannot be a bush, be a bit of the grass and some highway happy you made. If you cannot be a muskie, then just be a bass, but be the liveliest bass in the lake. We cannot all be captains. We've got to be crew. And there's something for all of us here to do. There's great work to do, and there's a lesson to do, but the task that you must do is the near. If you cannot be a highway, then simply be a trail. If you cannot be the sun, be a star. It is not by the size that you win or that you fail. Simply be the best of whatever you are. May God bless you. Uh, on behalf of uh, Brian Cummins Show Band of Houston, Texas, my brother George Brown asked me to uh, study condolences to uh, Mr. Taylor's family. I had the opportunity to know Mr. Taylor for about 30 years, and uh, it's a great loss to the music world. And myself, Tony Anthony, I extend my heartfelt condolences to the family. Uh, I'm one of Mr. Taylor's godchildren, and I just want to say that he will be really missed by all of us and all of you. He was a loving person that never had a harsh word to say about anyone. He could always call on him for a kind word or a laugh or whenever you were down, he was always there. He would be missed very much. Thank you, thank all of you. Amen. Giving honor to God and to the family and all that's here, I just want to say that this is not a day of sadness. In Christ, we're going home. I've lost all mine, and I know where they are. And I'm very comfortable with that. As a matter of fact, in Christ, I'm just waiting to cross to the other side. So I know that the family is bereaved right now. But believe in God, and believe what he said, and know that your loved one, my mentor, is waiting for you on the other side. God bless you. Um, good afternoon.
Good evening to everyone. Um, my name is Calvin Audemary. That was my mother. Um, I don't have much to say, but I do have a song on my heart if it, if it doesn't bother anyone. Um, <clears throat> Why should I feel discouraged?
Good afternoon. My name is Ophelia Ford, and uh, I'm all the way from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I thank and praise God for allowing uh, me and my friend Bernice Turner to make it down today. I uh, just wanted to say to the family and friends uh, that uh, I feel exactly what you're feeling today, a whole lot of pain. But I do know that Johnny is in a much better place, and I have no doubt that he is going to be with Lois. But uh, I want to bring sincere condolences to you from my family, uh, representing, and I'm here representing all of them in J. Ford Funeral Home. Uh, he goes all the way back with my father, the late M.J. Ford, and uh, my uh, brothers in particular asked me to please express condolences from them, namely uh, former Congressman Harold Ford uh, and his son, Harold Ford Jr., who is now the Congressman for the State of Tennessee, and uh, my brother John, Senator John Ford, and my brother Dr. James Ford, who is on the county commission there, and uh, my brother Joseph Ford. So anyway, my, uh, our thoughts are with you, our heart are with you. Uh, we will continue to pray with you, and we're so happy to be here today to share this with you. Giving honor to God, may I stand here rather than to disturb some great members of our community and some of the greatest singers in the world. To my left, the heart, the blessing of the man with the bee, Mr. Bobby Bland, my dear brother, who put the boss of the blues in the blue. Right. To my right, our community leader, Mr. Coma Cottrell. Rather than trying to reach the microphone, I thought that I would use my voice and lift it for one minute. As Dr. Clark said, our honored pastor of this great church, giving honor to God and the clergy, every member of the family, to you, Jerry, to the entire family, from all of us. This is a home going of a great audience. Yes. Everybody is Pete <laughs> to Johnny Tate. Y'all can sit around. But you know what I'm saying is true. Johnny, Pete, well look, his music inspiring to all who love music. Giving honor to God, to all of you, each and every one of us, under the roof and under the sound of my voice, we will all miss Johnny Pete Taylor. All right. But we will never forget him. And may God bless the family and all heartbroken persons today all over the world. Because we have lost Malico recording stuff. Mr. Johnny Taylor. From Mr. Bobby Bland and his entourage and Mrs. Bland. To Mr. Maurice, better known as Big Dime. I am the personal traveling MC with Bobby Bland, whom I love dearly. Miss Millie Jackson, our sister. To all the entertainers all over the world, we will miss Pete, but we will never forget him. God bless you, and don't forget to send up a prayer for the family. Amen. 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 I saw four and twenty on their knees. I saw four. 
Understanding, God bless each and every one of all of you. And don't remember, and, and don't forget to remember that God will never put any more on you than you can bear. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you. I am uh, I'm one of Mr. Taylor's daughters, and um, I know that for a lot of people here, they remember him as a singer, and a celebrity, and a star. But for us, he was birthdays and Christmas and Thanksgiving.
Now he's gone on home. Whoa, he's gone on home. We love you, Johnny. Whoa, 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 whoa. we love you, Johnny. He has been our father. and celebrities from across America, and to this lovely Marie family, the Taylor family. Many promoters from Houston, Texas, his jockeys and entertainers have came to not just to pay tribute today, but in respect to God and the humanity and the love and the respect that we have for JT and the Taylor family. For Matthew 5 and 16 says, better than I ever could say, let your light shine so others may see the good you do and glorify the Father in heaven. Johnny Taylor, let his light shine in his songs, his love, his entertainment, the way of his communication, and his life. May the life he lives and sang rest within the hearts of all of his family and his friends. May I say to you, trust not in man and materialistic life, but trust in the Lord. Amen. As I like to say, give it honor to God. And I'm Johnny Taylor Jr., uh, middle son. Like my brother said, my father said, just take it so nice and sweet, and here we go. More than all, you're gonna need Jesus. More than a friend, than a family. More than your father, sister, brother, even your mother. But oh, when it comes to the end of your journey, more than all, you need Jesus for your friend. Thank you. you love all the way from Detroit, Michigan, uh, to the family. I uh, also bring you love from my grandmother, Alberta Adams, the queen of blues of Detroit, uh, who couldn't be here, but she does send her love. And I just want the family to know that, you know, people feel your pain, but they also can feel your pain from a distance, because even though I've never met Mr. Taylor personally, my grandmother talks of him. Um, my girlfriend, one of his background singers, and you know, I'm here mainly because of her, you know, and he helping her in her time of need. And I just want to share this one verse out of this song with her and the family, just to let you know that God is here, God does love you, He will never leave you nor forsake you. And if anybody asks you anything about Johnny P, Johnny H, Johnny Taylor, that you always have this to share with them. If anybody has you, Do you want to 
First of all, give an honor to God, pastor, pulpit, guest. I'm honored to be here. My name is Marcellus Jones from East Texas, Dabal, Texas. I started working with Johnny back in 1955, a long time ago. Me, myself, just a counselor, survival. So I know God is good. And I thank you. And I just wanted to let you know that he's represented by what he has done himself. I didn't just know Johnny as a singer. I knew him as a man. And I felt I didn't want to really get up and say anything. I wanted to and didn't want to. But the songs that came up here put rejoicing in my heart. And I just hope that you keep that love that Johnny shared to you among yourselves. Because you will need each other now. Like his daughter said that he was Christmas, Thanksgiving, and those birthdays, you can still have among yourselves. And I just want you to know I'm a friend of a lot of artists. I work with a lot of them that's passed on, ZZ Hill, Sound Cooks. All those fellows was real people. And I hope we can share some of the love that we have. I was Good to see little Milton here, Bobby Blue Bland. 
I worked with them. I had the privilege of knowing the late Sam Cook. And to me, what I, I, I never was one of the big promoters. I was one of the little promoters. But the joy that I got out of promotion was the people that I met like Johnny Taylor. He was so kind and nice. And he had a way to make you feel good. My life date with Johnny, you know, sometimes we get out of struck when we're a little small. And the band and his manager was taking all my beer out of the trunk of the car. And Johnny said, put it back. Don't take all the band stuff. But I'm saying Johnny had a heart. And bless all of you. And if you're out in East Texas, i <laughs> and we, we must do things decent and in order. And we must respect the wishes of the family. This brother will be the last brother. He has 30 seconds. Then we will do the poem by Janet Ford. We will go back to the program. And please respect the family wishes. This is a printed program. We need to respect the wishes of the family. God bless you. And if you get mad, go pray for me tonight. Here, here in honor of God, the clergy and the bereaved family. My name is Ken Richardson. I represent the Arkansas Black Hall of Fame in Little Rock, Arkansas. We were very fortunate this past November to induct the Johnny into the Black Arkansas Hall of Fame, which is a place uh, held for legends, people from Arkansas who have done great things. And I just want to, I remember John's remarks as he, as he accepted the nomination. They asked him, said, Johnny, why did you start singing? And he said, cotton. <laughs> and as the lady ended the sermon, she said, thank God for cotton. Thank God for Johnny Taylor, and we our heart and prayer for that for the family. Obituaries. 
ring silently. Giving obedience to God, who's head of my life, respecting Pastor Clark, and to the uh, Taylor family. I want to thank God for allowing Mr. Taylor to be a part of my life. For the seven years that I was his background vocal, one of his background vocalists. And while I was on the road away from my family, he was like a father to me. I want to let um, Sabrina and Miss Taylor and Jonathan and the entire family to know that I love them from the bottom of my heart. We're going to miss you, Mr. Taylor, the band, representing the band. We love you, but God loves you best. Yeah. sisters, my mother, Mrs. Bessie Rocky, who's unable to be here today, I'm just going to do a verse of a song that Johnny used to sing at the family reunion. Bye -bye. Through the years, keep on Thank <laughs> you. 
daughter talked about the memories of him with his family during Christmas time. And I don't mean this disrespectfully, but I will always remember Johnny Taylor because up until Johnny Taylor put out the electric slide, it took me two years to even learn how to do that. So he will always have fun memories in my mind. But in addition to that, uh, also Dwayne Carraway. My husband gives Johnny Taylor credit for getting his promotional career started. And I had the opportunity to meet Mr. Taylor Monk more than five and a half years ago when he showed his support to Dwayne and I at our wedding. And so it really is at the request of Dwayne that I stand before you as a Dallas City Council member and his friendship to read this proclamation that the mayor prepared. So I had the mayor's oh, and I had the chair. It means, whereas music is the language of all people and one of the greatest forces in creating peace and harmony, and whereas Johnny Taylor was born in Crossfordville, Arkansas in 1937 and raised in West Memphis, Tennessee, where his skills and musical inspiration in gospel and rhythm and blues were forged, and whereas Johnny Taylor was a rhythm and blues pioneer whose career spanned almost four decades with hits such as Cheaper to Keep Her, Who's Making Love, I've Got to Love Somebody's Baby, and Disco Lady, and whereas Johnny Taylor affectionately knew everyone as Pete and is best known in Dallas for his packed performances at the Longhorn Ballroom and through his offices at TAG Enterprises, Johnny Taylor sponsored and contributed to the annual South Dallas Nursing Home Canned Food Drive. And whereas in 1996, Johnny Taylor was recognized by the Rhythm and Blues Foundation at their seventh annual Rhythm and Blues Pioneer Award Ceremony for his numerous contributions to Rhythm and Blues music. And whereas today, as we celebrate Johnny Taylor's homegoing and pay tribute to his musical genius, life, and legacy, now, therefore, I, Ron Kirk, mayor of the city of Dallas, and on behalf of the Dallas City Council, do hereby proclaim today, June 7, 2000, as a time to honor and recognize the contribution of Johnny Taylor to gospel, rhythm, and blues. Sign near Wonka. And I'll be First of all, giving all praises to God, my pastor, Dr. C. A. W. Clark, Barbara. pastors on the rostrum, members of Good Street, members of the family. I bring condolences on behalf of the state of Texas, state senate, governor. Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. I will not go through all of the whereases in the proclamation. Suffice it to say that what we've heard here today is a story of a man that not only the Taylor family will miss, the Texas will miss, the entire world will miss Johnny Taylor. When I look at the many accomplishments that have been chronicled. I recognize that he's not only a man, not only an artist, not only a humanitarian, but he's the sum total of a man. And it's ironic that Johnny's upcoming single speaks of a dream he has about a party in soul heaven. The superstars from the past performing for one last night. Can you imagine what's going on in heaven today? So, on behalf of the state senate and elected officials throughout this country, we share and extend sincere condolences to the bereaved family of Johnny Harrison Taylor, better known as Pete. And this proclamation has been prepared for those dear to Johnny and as, as an expression of the sympathy from the state of Texas. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Amen.
you, thank you, Senator Ross West. We've been seated long enough. Why don't we stand? Our eulogist for the afternoon is none other than the pastor, Dr. C.A.W. Clark. And after the hymn, the next voice you will hear will be that of Dr. Clark. I don't know that I've done 
so much. I think I done what I could. But if nobody else can, yeah. you must become. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corinthians 
and it reads, I die daily. What does it mean to die daily? I believe it means that I practice dying. So I don't have to do everything in a dying house. I practice I die a little bit every day. Well, let me put it this way. The choir that you see up there, they're getting ready for something. Yeah, yeah. They got a musical plan. But they're practicing. Yeah, yeah. They've already set the date for the music. But they're getting ready. Yeah. They've got a feeling that you can't do your best if you don't really hurt. He 
said, I saw an assembly and I heard it. I heard a noise and I listened. And that noise was a musical. the uh, benediction is given, the pastor has requested that the family would go to the dining area. So those of you that are in the dining area, you would need to uh, make room and allow the family to go and dine. Let's consider one another. Those of you that are on this side, right and left side, if you were to exit out of the doors, the only way you would be able to see the remains, you must enter through, through the front door. So you need to go out now. Thank you so much, both sides. And
Oh, 